Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. So today is going to be our first paint pour. We've never done a paint pour before. So what I did, uh, I watched a lot of these videos. They're a lot of fun. So I went on to uh, Hobby Lobby, went down there and got one of these pre-mixed pouring acrylic starter sets. Check that out. So this one comes with white, black, turquoise, sapphire, springtime blue, silver metallic, red, lilac petals, and gold metallic. Seven colors, two metallic colors, one cell medium, 12 stir sticks, 10 disposable cups, one drop cloth, one pair of gloves, and one how-to pamphlet. So we're gonna go ahead and try this thing out. I got some cups as well, in case we need some extra cups to mix it up. And I bought a bunch of goodies from Dollar Tree and also Hobby Lobby to pour into different uh, techniques and stuff. So we'll see how this goes. We're gonna do our very first one here today and hopefully it goes really well. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our kit. We're gonna bust this thing open and pull out all of the contents. Now what I have here is I have a canvas. This one is, this is 16 by 20 canvas, just a white blank canvas. And I've got a larger canvas that we're going to place under it. And that is going to be basically our catch can for when the paint spills over the sides. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. All right, so you open it up and you get 10 little cups, 12 stir sticks, all of your paints and it does come with a cell medium so we'll check that out and again like I said it has all these individual cups that you can use that will be uh, the pouring we're gonna pour it into one cup and mix it all together and see how this comes out all right, so in there we also have instructions. So let's go ahead and check this out. New to paint pouring, no problem. Follow these simple steps to pour down something pretty. Pour your heart out, it says. Step number one, put your colors in individual mixing cups. Elevate your can canvas so paint can drip down the sides on top of an extra large drop cloth. Tip small cups work well for this. All right, so they do provide you a drop cloth as well that we could put on the table, but this table is metal and it's our art table, so it's totally fine. Add cell medium. It says gently stir three to four drops of cell medium into each color. This is what causes the paint to divide into cells when it's poured. Note for a more traditional marble look, you can skip step three. Step three is combine your colors. Starting with light or metallic colors, layer the paint one color at a time into a pouring cup. Do not stir the paint in the pouring cup. Cup or the colors will mix and get muddy. Step number four is to pour the actual paint. Slowly pour the paint onto the canvas. Alternative, set the canvas on top of the cup containing the layers of paint, holding the cup tightly to the canvas. Flip the canvas so that the cup is sitting on top of the canvas. Let the cup sit on the canvas for a minute, then lift it, allowing the paint to flow onto the canvas. Step number five, activate your cells. A small butane torch can be used to activate the cells if desired, but is not necessary for the development of cells. You can also use a hot gun, which we're gonna be doing using just a heat gun today. If you choose to use one, Wave your torch five to six inches above the painting to activate the color cells. Skip this step if you choose not to use cell medium. Step number six, distribute the color. Gently tilt the canvas in different directions to spread the paint. Don't forget to cover the sides. Wipe away any excess paint at the edges of your canvas and allow it to dry completely. Number seven, step number seven, add a finish. Protect your painting and give it a glossy finish with a top coat of resin. When the painting is dry, remove any dust and debris with a mild cleanser and allow it to dry. Then apply resin according to the package instructions, resin not included. 
So that would be like an epoxy or something over the top. You can also just use spray paint, but you're going to use like a, um, a high gloss clear or a lacquer over the top of it to make it nice and shiny and pop. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we go. Step number one, pour your colors in individual mixing cups. So we do have our individual mixing cups here. Now these are pre-mixed as well. So these are the colors that you get. These are pre-mixed. So you don't have to add any pouring medium to them or anything like that, all right? So what we need to do is just pick our order of colors and pick out what uh, design we want to create, basically. So uh, first and foremost, I'm going to use, I like all the blues across the top. So we're going to use the blues. Um, and then I do like... black, white, and silver on this one. So we'll see how that comes out. And then we'll do a separate one over there. So step number one, pick your colors and uh, get ready for that. Number two is to add your cells. So gently stir in two or three, four drops of cell medium into each color. So first off, we are going to go ahead and check these. What we wanna do is pour the pre-mixed solutions into the cup. Just easier to pop them open, pour it in. You don't have to squeeze them out of the cap. The first cap took me five minutes to break through. The second cap cut me open. I'm done bleeding. Okay. I already shook these really well. So after you remove the caps, shake them. That way, you make sure that the paint and the mixing medium or the pouring medium mix together. And then we have our cell medium, which is this stuff here. And again, we're going to do three to four drops of the cell medium into each color. One, two, three, four. Whoa. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 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 So what's really cool is there's plenty of the cell medium to go around for uh, the next batch. So now it's time to mix them up. So you get that all mixed together well. So that one. All right, cool. And then in the packaging, they do not give you an extra cup for like a large cup to mix them all together. So we have already pre-purchased one. Um, I got these pack of 12 at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So they worked out really well. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with, we're gonna go ahead, we'll do some random coloring. So what I'm gonna do is this bottom piece, it's nothing important, it's just my spillover. I'm gonna set these here. So you can kind of see the colors as well on camera. Very, very nice colors there. So we're going to now go to step three, which is combine all the colors. And step four is going to be pouring the paint. So let's do combine the colors here. Just in case we don't have to spill in there yet. So the white, blue, turquoise, and the blue, black, silver. And we'll go black again. We'll just go reverse color this time.
All right, so there's that. Now, what we're gonna use is a colander. All right, cool, so here's our little colander. Just got this at Dollar Tree. Let's go ahead and move this bad boy back onto here. And we're going to pour it right through the holes. So that's what we've got right now. Let's see if we can stretch this bad boy out. Cells are getting nice and big. Set them on top of those little cups first. Looking pretty cool. I just need that one corner there.
Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and see what the heat line, see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead, it looks like there's not enough paint to cover everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just do another cup full. Of each color that I have left. I'm gonna skip the black because it's already dark, so we want it to lighten up. And then also in here, starting with light or metallic colors, layer your paint. So we're gonna go ahead and do that since it's a little different this time. So we'll start with the white. And we'll go with the lighter blue. Turquoise. Then we'll do silver. Oh. And then we'll do this dark blue. And then again, we'll go through the colander. Put it closer this time. I'm gonna pour slower as well. All right, so that put the lighter colors on top, which was probably one of my mistakes from the first time. Again, this is my first time pouring. So now also that the board is wet, your canvas is wet, the paint is going to slip nice and easy around the actual canvas. The other thing that's really cool about art is there's never a mistake, right? Like I could have been like, darn it, that's ruined. It's not good, this, that, and the other. But the cool thing is when you're making art, you can change it and it can always be just right. And you need to tell yourself while you're doing it that it looks awesome. You're doing a great job.
All right, now we're just gonna let this dry. Got a couple more of these little spots here. Fill that in. So it definitely takes a lot more paint than you would expect to fill the whole canvas. But now that's starting to look much better. I like the lighter colors on there for sure. 